Yo, it's Goody. It's Flex in the building, you know what I'm saying, with Music Heads, radio, you know what I'm saying, tap in. Y'all probably know me by B-Hunter, but tap the screen so y'all can figure me out, man. Let's do it. I started off as a music producer, you know what I'm saying, as B-Hunter. Uh, you know, uh, me and Comethazine, we started off, you know, making a few records and then, you know, branched off to, like, you know, uh, Young Thug, Future, and um, Juice World. So, um, and shout out Zoe Dollars, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, made a lot of things happen between doors and things like that for Word on Drugs to even come about. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, I started off as a producer and shit like that. So, I really wanted to, like, I didn't really want to rush my growth and things like that. So, I always told artists that I was working with, even the artists that, like, fly me out, you know, um, to work with them, they'd tell me, like, yo, you know, at 19, 18, they tell me, yo, hop on this beat, you know what I'm saying? You a producer, so rap, you know what I'm saying? Just start rapping, you know what I'm saying? But I end up telling them, like, like nah, I got to I gotta wait. Like, I want to get my name to a certain point of producing. Then I could probably branch off to, like, do my own thing later on. But, like, for the most part... I'm a producer, artist, you know what I'm saying? For the most part, I don't like calling myself none of them categories. Just say I'm an alien or some shit, you know what I'm saying? I know I do lots of things, like, you no. Know, so my first placement came about, like, you know what I'm saying? I was just really making beats one day, you know, with my homeboy. We had a hotel, like a telly type shit. So I'm just cooking up in the hotel, you know, vibing. And then he bring back some like strippers type shit, you know. And then uh, for the most part, I remember just going to sleep. Like niggas, everybody went to sleep. Boom, the night over with. And I forgot what we did the night before, but I ended up leaving my laptop in the nigga car. So like the next morning come about, I'm like calling niggas because they like left to go do a play type shit or some shit. So, like, I called my bro. He like, yeah, bro just got locked up with everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Da, da, da. I'm like, damn. So, boom. Moro to the story, I went back to Mon Duke's spot. You know what I'm saying? Asked for if she had some type of device where I could make beats. And she had, like, a, a old-ass Dell desktop, like, from, like, 2006. And I put on, like, a crack version from Pirate Bait. Or like FL Studio and that shit, and then made like 50 beats before I even went to sleep, cause I it was just something that was telling me don't even quit, like don't even give up, like it could I could easily just been like man fuck this shit it's probably not even for me, like my computer going with everything on it, Metro Boomin producers just loaded up VSTs for me all types of shit, and I just lost everything, so it's like you know what I'm saying I had to keep on going, like I had to put that shit on my chin and just keep on going like so I feel like as any upcoming producer just remember like why you really doing this shit like if you doing it just for like fame clout Instagram all that extra shit then you I mean you still it's cool to do it still like that but like you know what I'm saying if you don't really got no purpose and then you lose it God going he you gonna have a test that come to show you if that's your real, like, passion to do some shit. You know what I'm saying? This shit was supposed to be taken from me multiple times in my life, and this shit still, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, still here. Like, he forcing it in my life. So it's like, I'm just taking what come with it type shit. So, you know what I'm saying? But, um, I, I did end up, uh, you know what I'm saying, getting signed, you know what I'm saying, by Sony. Uh, you know, I had linked up with Miss Bernie, uh, 21 Savage, uh, attorney, and, um, Sal York, and then we ended up doing a lot of things, like, a lot of footwork, we going out to certain events just to tell people, oh yeah, I'm a producer, da 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 come to the studio, I cook up beats right now in the car for you, like, I'm showing artists my beats out the car, I'm pulling up to Magic City, Strokers, you know what I'm saying, playing beats out the whip, you know what I'm saying. So like, to all producers, if you ever trying to figure out like, how do I get a, a placement? How do I get to the labels? Like, you dead ass just gotta get the fuck out of the crib and go outside 
and actually like try to get next to these niggas and like or next to these artists and like play your beats like it don't matter the cost like if you got to bring your laptop in the club bring your laptop in the club if you got to go in another nigga car go just make sure you get your shit out there like that's the main objective but you know what i'm saying that's more to the story about me producing but yeah um <laughs> As far as me discovering my talent by being an artist, I would say, like, I don't know, like, I, would, I got a, my mom, Dukes, and my pops got an old video from, like, a DVD, VCR type shit of me, like, I'm, I'm like, six years old, like, acting like I'm an artist, like, I got my pants sagging, I got a tank top on, braids, I'm like, oh yeah, perform, act like I'm performing type shit, so I always knew, like, I was gonna be an artist, even my, you know, my my whole team knew I was gonna be an artist, Sal, he always told me, like, oh yeah, you gonna be an artist one day, like, he didn't even, he never called me a producer, even my, my lawyer, she never called me a producer, like, they always knew, like, I stood out in a different way, like, I don't even know what I was doing, like, I still don't know to this day, like, what I be doing. I just be myself, like, niggas dead ass probably be thinking, like, oh, he trying to live up to the da 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 but nah, like, this dead ass just me, like, everything you see see me wear, I, I make, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing this shit since 2009, 2010, like, been making my clothes, all types of shit, like, you know what I'm saying? That's just my lifestyle, like, I just gotta do that, I just gotta create. I used to make robots at seven years old, tattoo guns, all types of shit. Like, I'm a real engineer. You know what I'm saying? So, like, this shit real deal deeper than what any other average producer probably would think or any audience would probably think. Could they see somebody try to, you know what I'm saying, express their fashion and be like, oh, yeah, he just want to be like a clout god or some shit or no. <laughs> Go do your history, like. I've been doing this shit, you know what I'm saying? I would say I enjoy both the same, but my artistry, I feel the same. It's like, it's crazy that you just asked me that too because I was just talking to my lawyer and my team about this, like how I got the same feeling when I first started making beats, like as far as my artistry though, like. I feel like I be making new sounds, new instruments, just with my voice. Like every time I re record, like so it's just it's just a good feeling. Like I don't know, like I just love re creating. Like I don't really have a more of a passion for the both, but I feel like artistry. I definitely got something new for the world to like actually look into or try to peep their head through the people or some shit. But um, for the most part, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? People eventually gravitate to it. I ain't trying to rush it, none of that. I feel like, you know what I'm saying, pressure make diamonds, and it's always going to take time for all that shit. So I'm here for it. I'm not from Atlanta, and um, I was damn near raised from here, though, but, like, I'm not from Atlanta. Uh, for the most part, I always was, like, moving around from, like, L.A., New York, New Jersey, um, shit, uh, Miami, uh, Palm Beach area, um, Boston, Philly, North Carolina, all types of shit, like, um, I really, the way I ended up here was, like, as far as music, like, I was in L.A., on a uh, one-way trip, and, um, cause, you know, I, I, I definitely went to school, you know what I'm saying, in and out of here type shit, but, um, when I got, like, 18, I did, like, a one-way to, like, LA, my mom, dudes, pops, they, like, damn, like, you tripping, like, <laughs> you just got out, you feel me, out of school and shit, but I was just more so, like, head on first, like, with my heart and with my faith of, like, what I'm really here for and what I'm supposed to be doing. Because I knew, like, as soon as I got out there, I just knew it was something out there for me. Like, I had 500 to my name. My homeboy, I had to help him out because, you feel me, he was left out there, you know what I'm saying? 
some circumstances and shit like that. So I try to go out there and help him. But I only had like 500, got an Airbnb. So now, boom, I got like 392 to my name. Next thing you know, I went to some like little event. Um, and then I got like an email in the morning and a phone call to meet at like some like little strip in LA in like some alleyway. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, fuck it. Like, you know, I'm out here trying, you know, see what the fuck going on, trying to risk, take a risk to try to make some shit happen. So I ended up going to that address, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it definitely looked spooky a little bit. It was like tall ass gates and shit in the alley. So I walked towards it. It started opening it. And when I told them my name, you know what I'm saying? They let me in. And little do you know, I found out that the name is a big studio out there. It's called Paramount Studios. So when I was in Paramount Studios, I was working with a few artists. Uh, Edward Mafia was there, Metro Boomin. Um... Uh, Max Lord, uh, a few people, and I even took in to like the that was the best moment in my life because like it was crazy that I was actually watching Max Lord like actually you know what I'm saying do what he do in that spare moment because he worked with Juice World like you know what I'm saying often so like him working with Juice World was like. You know, very inspirational for me because that was like the main artist like I did, you know, fuck with as far as sonically, musically and things like that. But like, yeah, that's really how I ended up back out here because after Paramount, I got like a, you know, um, placement offer to come to Atlanta to like try to produce for um, K Supreme. And then that's when I had did Gucci Cologne with K Supreme and Don Nitty. And uh, Eastico and um, 12 Studios. So, like, after I did that, things started jumping a little bit. And um, that's when Cometazin gave me a call. He flew me out, and we was on tour. After that, shit started rocking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, basically, uh, with the project I got coming out, um, I started off with Eunice, you know what I'm saying? So... If y'all been seeing, like, me posting units and project and things like that, he's basically, like, a prophet that was, um, you know, put in the well, basically, that story with, I guess it was, what's his name, uh, Joseph or Moses or something like that? Uh, I think it's, it's one of those, but, um, he basically was a prophet, you know what I'm saying, he got... Swallow into this well, you know, they pushed him in the well, and he ended up getting somehow grabbed and saved from, like, falling type thing, from dying. And then when he got saved, he ended up, like, coming out with lots of wealth and gold, but the thing he did with it was different. Like, he ended up putting people in position to actually do what they got to do for theirs and things like that. And it sound like so cliche, but like I actually got this whole thing like put out, like planned and script and all types of shit. So like it goes way back into like Atlantis, like the hidden city and shit like that. So like basically the hidden city was found with like Plato, you know what I'm saying? And um, it was like five different divisions through that whole hidden city. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, um, my album basically got five different, like, pillars to it. Basically, I say, like, five different pillars to the album. And it's more so like a story, like, the Book of Eli or um, uh, the movie Life and things like that or Life of Pa. You know, that's how the album, I could say, is perspective for me. But um, it's inspired by... Mainly, I say, uh, Busta Rhymes for sure. Um, I say, Travis Scott, uh, Uzi, Chief Keef, um, ASAP Rocky, uh, and it's probably a few more in there, but. You know what I'm saying? That's really what it's inspired by. 
Um, I really like to think of Thano when I think of like music because just think of Thano and how his power was. He took five different elements and put it all into one. And then that was his main power. So that's how I look at this whole entire like artistry of everything. So it's like, that's like me doing Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, Shaquille O'Neal, uh, Carmelo Anthony, Allen Iverson, Ray Allen at their prom. That's five. And then I put it all into one. That's one, like, you know what I'm saying? So I want people to really like take that into heat, into this whole project. And things like that, like, you know what I'm saying? Day in, day night. Day in and day night, like, niggas going crazy for this shit. So, hope y'all tune in. Yeah, the crazy thing is, I didn't even, I never even, like, thought to, like, announce it. But, like, I am having a little B Hunter on the way. You know, a little flexing, you know. Uh, so, um... It is kind of different for me, but I could feel the changes, like, me growing as a man. So, like, you know, I actually like it. I love it. It feel like a blessing. I can't wait till he come or she come. It just, you know. So, the album definitely going, you know, have this backbone. Uh, the album going to drop probably around late this month. August or next month, probably around her, he, birthday. Y'all can find me at social media at B-H-U-N-N-A, flexing with a P-H-L-E-X-N, everywhere, you know what I'm saying? And if you want to just find my artistry and my music, just type in P-H-L-E-X, and that's it, you know what I'm saying? The name of the project... Uh, I got a few names, but, uh, it's definitely around, you know, Eunice. Um, I would say more so, uh, right now I say phase two of flexing, you know what I'm saying? So y'all just stay tuned for the name and the cover art. Make sure you tap that link. And go follow me on Instagram. And, uh, yeah. Y'all favorite rapper gonna be on there too, so why not tap in? And I, I know y'all tired of listening to the same shit, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, um, shout out to, you know, um, shout out to G Herbo. You know, he reached out, you know, trying to fuck with a nigga. I fuck with that. Um, shout out to Sauce Walker. Shout out to... Busta Rhymes, shout out to Sal York, Miss Bernie, shout out to, uh, you know, it's a few names out there, you know, um, Don Nitty, Mans, uh, Benz, uh, Coda, um, Nothing Was Handed, God has shot them out, you know what I'm saying, Nothing Was Handed, couldn't do nothing without them, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, also, um, if y'all don't tune in, then y'all gonna be left in 2023. It's sorry to tell y'all, but um, they are gonna do another COVID if y'all don't tap into the project. So, either get sick or listen to it, you know what I'm saying? So, we out.